It's a good evening here in New Jersey. We are going to sleep. It's about 10.30. And today is a Friday. I call it Penny Day. And I've had a busy day. Uh, it's end of season for us who do gardening. We are coming to our cold season. And I just wanted to bring my harvest uh, to the camera so you guys who are far away from um, home know that wherever country you go to, you can always grow the food that you enjoy eating. And for those of you who are in Africa or any part of the world where you have a small garden, out, out of whatever I'm going to show you, we grow this on a very small garden. I don't even think it's, 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 it's a small... I don't know the measurements, but it's, it's a small piece of land that we pay $25 for gardening and we are able to harvest all this food. There are a lot of people who look at us from other parts of the world and they think we are doing well, we have money, and they are telling us in the inbox so they, they don't have food to eat. They are telling you A, B, C, D. They think you are having it easy. Here, we have just four, I think... March is when we plant the, the vegetables, April, May, June, and July. When August is coming in, uh, you're finishing your crop, and by September, the crop is it's like you're about to finish. That is the time we grow the vegetables and we freeze it for those of us who like vegetables for the next season. In fact, sometimes we harvest enough to take us through the, the, the season, the vegetables, because even here, people buy frozen food. So you can grow your own food and, you know, cut it, chop it up and, and freeze it. Uh, like this uh, butternut squash, you can just chop it and, you know, steam it a little bit and put it in the soup. Okay. We grow pumpkin. Pumpkin, this is about $4, $5 when you buy it. You can buy the pumpkin, chop it, you know, freeze it for um, a couple months, which sometimes is not it's not long because you only have... Uh, three or four months of cold season. So when you when you sit and tell people you don't have food to eat, I don't know what food you're looking for. Because uh, initially I bought 25 chicken and now I think I have like 20. I get between 15 and 16 eggs a day when the winter season is coming in. They might not lay eggs, but I get the eggs. I just wanted to show you guys the vegetables that, you know, I've harvested. Some are frozen and I'm yet to harvest more. Please don't sit somewhere and ask for someone to buy you food when you can grow your own food in your backyard. Or you can rent a very small piece of land that a lot of food can, you know, grow and you feed your family. Let's see. This. So I have the eggs there. I, I normally, uh, the guy that helps me pick the eggs, he picks the eggs in this container and uh, he will pick it as it is and just put it here. And then I have the crates. These crates sell for uh, 75 cents or 70 something cents. I have what we call here kunde. This is from beans. It's very soft leaves. You boil and eat the, the front of it, yeah? not the hard part. I have what we call here in, uh, in Kikisi, Managu. Very good. I steamed them and I'm going to freeze them. I have what we call Emboga or rather Enderema. In fact, not Emboga, Enderema. I grew some of it at my front porch and I grew some at the garden. Look at all this. This is a lot of food. This is a lot of food. And this food can last you for a couple months. So that way you can get a chance to save up your money or not to save up so you can pay your children's school fees. So when you, when you come to the inbox, when you, you look at people and you, you think these people have money, these people are working hard. And by the way, today I was making this. I didn't even show you. I make this. I sell this tomorrow. I'm going to the market. I should be going to bed. And... Um, I melt this, I buy it in a big container and I melt it and, and, you know, put the label and everything is done here. This one is $6, the middle one is $12, I have one for $17. So pretty much I sat here and tried to do this work. And then I did one more thing, let me show you.
you know my big business is the waste beads so today i made you see this is a recycle these are the beads that you know i collect from the other beads and i'm able to sit and make these beads i made this and i made which one and i made this one right i take a needle and i pick the beads so i made these beads these beads one is fifteen dollars <laughs> yeah and some of you are going to think that's a scam it's not a scam they are very happy to pay and i sit here and pick bead after bead see there right and then these ones see the colored ones they come from ghana see so these are the things for those of us who are creative or who are self-employed try to do so we can earn i sell the eggs the vegetables i don't sell because i don't produce enough to actually sell i try to but it's kind of hard so good people i do these videos just to encourage you i do these videos just to show you that even if we move from our villages we bring the village with us and we are able to do things that are, are adding value to our life lives we are able to do things that you know give us a little uh, money uh, that you know if you borrow somebody's money they expect you to return but if you make your own little business and sell your things the money belongs to you 100 percent be inspired live a life with purpose be encouraged learn from other people when you come on social media use social media as an opportunity for you to learn not just to be there just browsing follow people that you can learn something from because there is actually someone i was watching and and i saw how they were growing they, they are called uh, this is malaba spinach they call it the way they cut the sticks and stack them on the ground now next year there is a way i have learned how to grow this because you know what when you grow this they go to people's fences and they go through in fact two days if you don't go to your garden for two days this uh, kind of vegetable has gone through the neighbor's fence and it is there so i had three of these in the neighbors because i didn't go to the garden for like three days i had things to do so what happens uh you're supposed to get a hatch i saw another video where they have a hatch i'm going to build a hatch that goes up like that and then i put the seeds along the way so the seeds next year the seeds are going to crawl on on the on the arch instead of going to the neighbor's uh, uh neighbor's garden because you know i don't think all neighbors are okay with um people you know people's crop coming to their to their garden so you guys have a good night because it's good night here we'll talk another day but if you've not liked my page do that these are waste beads waste beads are one under they're yeah, right there you see i have them there this is where we put them for those of you who don't know Go to my website you will see them this is how after you put them they look they are very colorful yeah but you know some people especially the spanish i see them using them for belts you can buy a beautiful one and you you use it for for like you know when you're wearing fancy clothes god bless you and you know what everybody is going through something don't think you're the only one struggling keep the hustle hard especially for those of you who have children you brought children to this world you owe them an education you owe them shelter you owe them food good night like my page share this video inspire others before you do what before you expire cheers